Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech. On Thursday, the 2nd of July, uh, let's have a look at a euro dollar now, which again, I, I said in the daily report that I thought that yesterday's candle was pretty much summed up what we've seen in euro dollar actually across the past few months, really. Um, in terms, of, uh, in terms of direction, we saw an intraday move to the downside and a sharp swing higher and then a dissipation into the close. And what you've seen is a move lower on euro dollar, a sharp dissipation in the last few weeks. Interesting. So that was yesterday's candle um, and it's moved into today's move where we've got an upside uh, break again, it's sort of confirming what is a break of that little mini downtrend. And you've got these up um, upswings on these momentum indicators now. It essentially is a range bound market, I think, on euro dollar. Um, I still hold a positive bias in the fact that I'm ha very happy to buy euro dollar into weakness, I think around 11, sort of 50 to 11, 12, sorry, 112 figure. I think it's a good en entry level for euro dollar now on a medium term basis and I think that, that will be the basis of support for sort of testing higher levels. Um, I would, not, would anticipate moving above 1350 in, at some stage soon. I think then 14 figure, 1490 starts to become then the uh, next target area and um, I think that this uh, upswing that we've seen in the last few days could be the move but I'm not saying it is definitely because I think what you've still got is these sort of swinging candles really the the upswing the downswing the neutral candles and then a, a, a swing higher in the late um uh, on the latest move that we've got but you've got non-farm payrolls today so would you be trading non-farm uh, ahead of that not entirely sure that that's a great idea um until you see how the payrolls report comes out you've got the hourly chart which generally speaking suggests a ranging market um little moves so that you had the move below 30 uh, on the hourly RSI, you've just had a move above 30. So it, it, it's sort of erring towards the positive bias now, um, finding support at 13 big fig, uh, sorry, 12, uh, what was that, 12.60, and then pulling back higher again, 12.40 was a, a, a low, an intraday low from yesterday as well, basis of support, 12.40 to 12.60 now, looking fairly decent. But, would you be sort of backing this for a breakout? Well, I think in due course, yes. I'm not entirely convinced that it's going to be happening right now. Um, I'd be uh, certainly looking to buy it into weakness, though, um, whether it can sustain a, a, an immediate move higher remains to be seen. I think um, it could be data driven, but ultimately at the moment, we've seen a little swing higher, but it comes in front of payrolls. So there could be a basis of consolidation there. Um, and possible in volatility on a near-term basis, which ultimately, if it comes back to sort of 12-figure area again, would be a buying opportunity. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars and also click to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.